Hey, it's Bryson here. Out in the heart of nature like I love. One of my favorite spots to see um, these blooming lotuses. You can see behind me there are lotuses. They are yellow in color, blooming. Uh, this is a really beautiful area by this uh, uh, slough, as they call it, which is a type of swamp. Lots of really cool wildlife around here. Watching some, uh, you know, frogs, snakes, fish, other little, you know, what are those things that skip over the surface of the of the water? A lot of cool stuff. <clears throat> so today, um, what I want to talk about today is about what has been happening on the planet for you know the last year and so. Um, just one bizarre, crazy, cataclysmic type thing after another um, that just seems to just be totally just at an abnormally high pace. And I want to talk about what uh, my perception of what is happening and, and not just mine, but the perception of many other people um, is of what is happening, which is that what we are experiencing is we are experiencing the current crashing of the current programming uh, of the matrix. Um, and we are moving into a new program that is the new earth that is going to be a totally different uh, paradigm. Um, all of the typical ways of perceiving reality and perceiving the possible are going to be shifting and that's why all of this crazy stuff is happening you know many of you may know about the the mayan prediction uh, on their calendar and a lot of people say oh that's that's when they predict the end of the world that is actually incorrect so what the mayan calendar actually was was a cal calculator that had an understanding of different um uh, epics that happen and you know epochs epics however they pronounce it in human history uh, that go in certain cycles and these cycles can be calculated and unfortunately one of the things that usually has to happen when a new uh, epic epoch whatever they pronounce it uh, comes into effect is that there must be uh, a cataclysm that seems to just shake things up before we can uh, transcend into this 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 new era you know this new realm and um, when you when you look at even the word apocalypse, um, you know, in, in the media, we've been told to believe that apocalypse is like the end of the world. Everything's going away. When in reality, if you look at the Greek origin of it, which I believe is the word uh, apocalypsis, um, it actually means an uncovering. So it is actually an uncovering where there is a period when there is something that has previously been hidden that becomes um, revealed to the people. It is like in uh, The Wizard of Oz, which, or, and I grew up watching also The, the Wiz, uh, the, the one with uh, Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, and so forth in there. And what it is like, it is like that scene in The Wizard of Oz where the wizard's curtain is pulled back, the veil is pulled back, and humanity realizes that the way we've been thinking about things has not necessarily been reality or been the best, but based on on ideology on ideology and one of the big issues about this place you know what we call the matrix is that what we call history is more ideology than actual facts and uh that was something that was uh, some information that was given to me by um um graham hancock i believe his name is where he spoke about that he spoke about how history isn't necessarily history but based on an ideology and so as this cycle ends the the matrix and whatever is behind it it just has to start going crazy because the collective consciousness that we are all a part of because we are all vessels through which the entire universe experiences this consciousness we are awakening we're having experiences and many of you have just been having crazy experiences and awakening realizing that the world you've been sold isn't what it is and so this thing has to go totally crazy it has to go totally crazy because it has to keep us continuously distracted from the awakening that is happening, which is the awakening to the true self, which by through awakening to the true self, you will elevate in your understanding of who you are and who you are supposed to be and where you fit into this equation and then become the best person that you are were born here to be and then, you know, create a great world. And I describe 
uh, this world we live in, this this illusory reality that has been programmed into our collective consciousness as as vessels through which the universe experiences consciousness. I call it a tacky ass carnival funhouse. And I'm gonna give a shout out to Ralph Smart of Infinite Waters who did give me a shout out about that comment that I did say on one of his live streams. And it's like, the program is crashing. We are living in a tacky ass carnival funhouse and it's crashing and people are figuring it out and people are figuring out the game that they've been under. And this is a beautiful experience. And you need to understand that if you're listening to this video, this is your confirmation that you are going to be okay. You are a multidimensional being having a, a human experience. You are in an avatar that is like an avatar in a video game and you're experiencing reality that is here to spiritually challenge you. And that's what this is about. It is about that, 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 that spiritual challenge. And then, you know, um, when you even look at like personality, so persona, we talk about the persona in this world. Uh, one of the big things that I, that I always tell people about that'll help you get to the understanding of, of, of breaking the code of this matrix of this game, this weird world we're in that nobody understands is looking at etymology, which is the study of the origins of words. So if you look at the origin of persona, which comes, which also makes person personality, the persona was the mask that ancient uh, Greek and Roman uh, players uh, in, you know, in plays would wear. And the persona is the mask, the mask that they were wearing. We've heard a lot about masks recently, right? And so the persona is the fake identity that we assume because we're living in a society where we feel that we have to fit into certain molds. And so we're, we're victims of cultural programming. And we will accept certain ideologies, not necessarily because it's the right way, but because those who control the narrative and who are in the positions of power and who are put out as the authorities are saying it. And so that is the very important part about it. And so, you know, you need to realize that the, the only thing you can do right now with everything that's happening on the planet is to look inside because... What this matrix does is it puts distractions and it's all fear. But have you noticed the mass media, which is controlled by the dark forces of the matrix? Why is it that everything they put out is always about fear? Why don't they talk about the mundane, amazing, peaceful moments on planet Earth? Like how I'm having here, just enjoying a wonderful time out in nature with lotuses right here. Why don't they talk about that? If they had to cover every piece of news that went on, it would be boring because it would show how peaceful and mundane the world is. But... You need to realize that you have to cleanse yourself. There is a great divide coming. The name of this, this slew that I'm on is Tomahawk Slew. Tomahawk, chop something in half. There's a great divide that's going to come. There are going to be people who are going to go along with this idea of strict and unquestioned obedience to authority. And those who are realizing that all of the things we've been sold that have been t telling us that a small group of people... Uh, has, has the right to control everybody and that everybody has to bow down to their agendas. That, that That's a totally corrupt idea that has been introduced and that has been a computer virus that has been put into our collective consciousness that has made us in a bountiful world live with people living in poverty. Poverty is a crime against humanity. To allow anybody on a planet where there's more than enough energy, food, physical resources to allow anybody to live without is ridiculous. And one of the ways that I, I disconnect from the programming of the matrix and I get into who I truly am is I come out here into nature because when you're out here in nature and there's nothing but just to just look at, you can free yourself from the nonsense that are just ideologies that have been planted in your head. A fake monetary system that is just has no relation to the actual available economy on planet Earth. And some of the stuff I'm saying that this stuff is, is controversial. It's very controversial because there are certain people on this planet who want as many souls stuck in this lower perception that is stopping humanity from getting to where we need to get to where we are living in a world where everyone can experience bounty and because, because it's available, it's there. There are ways we can assume, assume clean energy that, that is unlimited, that can free humanity. We have more than enough land in the world to grow enough food. 
there are technologies being developed where through vertical farming, you can have skyscrapers in urban areas and grow food. Food is not something that is not abundant on planet Earth. I walk through woods all the time there. I find edible stuff all over the place. Food is abundant. So poverty is a crime against humanity. And everything that has been happening on the planet, this craziness that just is like, what Twilight Zone episode am I in right now? This is because the shift is happening. And I am happy to be, uh, to know that I'm a part of the people that through love are going to get us where we need to get because the evil force of the, of the world that have been described by many people as demonic entities, which are like these computer viruses that have infected human consciousness that are keeping us creating and maintaining corrupt systems that don't make any sense and have no bearing on the true possibility of reality we can have. These things, these things, I, and I'm almost, almost kind of losing my train of thought here, but all I can say is these things, they don't want souls escaping this perception, this perceptual box. So I just had, I had a moment there where I just, I just kind of, blank for a minute and but that that's really the ultimate truth of, of of what of what this is and so this is just me just ranting from the heart right now because something is happening on planet earth and and i'm seeing i'm seeing sparkles in people's eyes okay human beings are realizing whoa with love we can take over the world and actually i just remember one train that i was going to a train of thought i was just going to love is the thing that this dark force is, is just is just repelled. It's allergic to it. It's allergic. So the things that humans have been causing demons, calling demons, which is this negative wave form frequency in the quantum field or whatever, is what you can probably best explain in a, in a, in a strictly scientific sense. These things can be exercised from our existence when you as a human being use your consciousness, which quantum physics has proven seems to be of some transcendent origin because consciousness itself seems to affect uh, reality. The, uh, the, uh, the act of observing the physical world seems to influence it in some way. And so this is all about your awakening to the fact that the world that everybody wants, which is a world where there is um, no poverty, no war is possible because energy is infinite. Food is virtually infinite. Physical resources to have things like you need, like homes and housing, are virtually infinite because there's more than enough of it for every human being to exist. So how do we get to a, to, to a society where we respect individual civil liberties while not tolerating poverty and war? Well, that's up to, up to us all because every person... Like I, like, I, like I have said, every person is the entire universe experiencing itself. That's what consciousness is. It is the universe creating awareness of itself. So therefore, if we are all the universe making awareness of itself, we have the power to change all of this shit. Because we can say we're done with this nonsense. A few people can't control the majority unless they allow it, unless they consent to it. And I'm not condoning any kind of aggression or violence. I am simply saying that you, when you are the majority, you can't be forced to do anything that you don't want to do. So let's figure this out, humanity. Something is happening that is crazy. I think that the reason why Corona is in the name is, you know, Corona means crown. I think that people are getting their crowns. So just take care of yourselves, people. If you're, please get out into nature if you don't get out into nature. So that is enough of this rant today. Um, this was just literally me speaking from the heart. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or that I know everything. I put this out here because I want people to, uh, to uh, resonate with me as well as tell me what they feel could be looked at slightly differently. So let's all get through this together. Like Ram Dass said, we're all walking each other home. We're getting back home. That is why this is all happening to humanity. We needed this challenge. 
and we're coming together and we're going to we're going to prevail. So I hope that you are having a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and you have a wonderful day.